Hey everybody, I'm Kim Six Killer, president of Magellan Healthcare. The whole reason we have this channel is to help you really understand Medicare, original Medicare, and the options you have so that you aren't confused when it's time for you to make some big decisions. All right, so original Medicare is from the government and we know that part A is for your in-hospital visits. That piece, of course, as we discussed previously, generally is going to be available to you without cost because you already paid into the taxes for years when you were working. Now I kinda wanna talk to you about Medicare part B. This piece does have a cost that is attached to it. Now this piece you are going to pay a monthly premium for. Medicare Part B is the piece that you're gonna use most often. Think of this as the part of Medicare that helps you sustain your health. So when you're going to the doctor for your wellness visits, if you have to have some lab work done, maybe you need to use some kind of services with uh, mental health facilities, ambulatory services, things like that are gonna fall into your Part B. So for Part B, how does the government figure out what you're gonna pay? What they do is a two-year look back at your modified adjusted gross income. So they're gonna go two years back from when you join Medicare and look at what you filed as your modified adjusted gross income to see which bucket you fall into. Clients in 2022 can expect to pay anywhere from $170.10 a month up to over $500 a month. Now, why do people pay different amounts? Well, as we just discussed, what you pay in taxes deems which bucket you fall into. The government says that if you made more, they feel like you should pay more. So, the more that you made, they add what's called an income-related monthly adjustment amount, or IRMA, to figure what you're going to pay for Part B. Now, it's also important to remember that everyone who's on Medicare pays this Part B. So a spousal couple will each pay a Part B premium. So if I made $110,000 a year married and jointly filing my taxes, both myself and my spouse will pay that $170.10 each month while we're on Part B. And then of course, the government always reviews the rates and looks at whether or not they'll raise them around November of each year. So now that you're eligible for Part A and Part B, how do I join? Depending on where you work and how many employees there are, you may have the option to defer your original Medicare and continue on your employer's plan, or it may be time to join. To look into that, you're gonna wanna go to the Social Security website and consider joining Part A and B. While Medicare Part B is pretty straightforward and simple, we do realize there are gaps and different situations where you might have confusion and need help. That's why Magellan Healthcare is here. Give us a call at the number on your screen and we're happy to walk through your original Medicare options, how to enroll, and what you need to partner with it to make sure that you're covered when life happens.